You ask, we investigate. A young bride-to-be from Okachi asked for our help. Her reception hall might be turned into a dorm months before her wedding. Now she wants her deposit back. Shannon Sims joins us in the studio. Shannon. Wedding planning is stressful enough, but imagine learning just a few months before the big day. Your reception hall may not be available and you can't get your deposit back. Lily Zunega spent the last 11 months planning the details of her dream wedding and reception. Green and yellow, the Packers. Now, just five months before saying, I do, she finds herself saying, I don't know. 300. Where am I supposed to put these people? Where am I supposed to put my guests? Not, my garage isn't big enough. A few weeks ago, she found out Blue Mound Gardens Banquet Hall is considering selling the site. Lily felt blindsided. How can my venue that I booked back in August not tell me that they're planning to sell? She is not the only bride in limbo. Danielle's mother has been trying to get her daughter's deposit back so they can put money down on another venue. At this point in time, I cannot book another venue without that deposit. I don't have $1,000 or $2,000. Both ladies say the owners are unwilling to release them from their contracts until they know if they're selling or not. That could be too late for the brides. We reached out to the owners who said, we appreciate the importance of wedding dates and it is our goal to work with and assist anyone who will possibly be affected in the event of our sale. But the brides will have to wait until the first week of March and Lily's patience is running thin. I am not the kind of person that can deal with unknowns and uncertainty, especially when it's dealing the most wonderful day of my life. Now, the owners also say that they worked with brides who had April and May wedding dates to find them other venues, and they promised to help the brides in our story in a similar fashion. Mike and Carol. You can't understand the frustration. Thank you, Shannon.